I'm Mariana with MailChimp. In this video, we'll review how to connect or disconnect MailChimp's QuickBooks Online integration. When you connect QuickBooks Online with MailChimp, customer information and transactions will automatically sync to your MailChimp account. With this information, you can segment and retarget new and existing customers, create automations that follow up with customers after they pay an invoice, and much more. Today, I'm going to connect my QuickBooks account and MailChimp. Ready to dive in? Let's get started. To begin, I'll click the integrations icon and find QuickBooks Online on the integrations page. Next, I'll click the Sync Contacts 2 dropdown and choose the audience I want to sync to. Then I'll click the Contact Status dropdown and choose Subscribed or Non-Subscribed. I'll choose Subscribed since I've already gained permission to market to my contacts. Everything looks good to me, so I'll click Connect. This will redirect me to the QuickBooks Online login page where I'll enter my credentials. And click sign in with email. Then I'll return to the QuickBooks Online site details page where I can see my connection status. Nice, I'm ready to use my QuickBooks Online data. If I click the audience icon, I can scroll down to the recent growth section on the audience dashboard to see the percentage of new contacts from my QuickBooks Sync. And in the tag section, I can see how many contacts are tagged as QuickBooks customers. Now, I just have one last thing to show you today, and that's how to disconnect your QuickBooks Online account from MailChimp. So to disconnect, I'll return to the QuickBooks Online site details page, and at the bottom here, I'll click disconnect. In the Are You Sure modal, I'll click Disconnect again. Awesome. And that's it. You've learned how to connect and disconnect MailChimp with QuickBooks Online. For more information, check out MailChimp's guides and tutorials.